Welcome to my Stationeers video tutorial on how to create a dedicated server. This server will run from your home computer or a spare computer and will allow your friends to play online even though you're not playing the game. The dedicated server will need to run in order for your friends to connect. So the first steps we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. We can place this in the C drive or on the desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and create one here on the desktop. And then we need to download Steam CMD. Steam CMD is a client that will allow you to run your server. So we'll go to the developer.valvesoftware.com website and download the Steam CMD zip file. We're going to save this on our desktop in the Stationeers folder. And then we'll need to extract this Steam CMD zip folder. Now that we have our Steam CMD, we can actually delete the zip if you want to. And we need to run Steam, Steam CMD for the first time so it can download and update the folders. Once our folders are done downloading and updating, we'll just exit out of Steam CMD. And we can now see that all of our folders have been created. Next, we'll need to create a new bat file. So we're going to go to new text document. We're just going to call this server update dot bat. You will get a warning message. Just say yes. Now we want to edit this server update dot bat. And we're going to update it with the following string Steam CMD plus login anonymous plus update 600760. That is the server's identity number. Validate and then quit. We're going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to run this for the first time. What this will do is it'll connect to the Steam servers and download the Stationeers dedicated server. Okay, now that our files are done downloading, it's going to verify and then close. Now we should be able to see our Station Ears dedicated server under the Steam Apps folder, under the Common folder, and in Station Ears dedicated server. And here is where we can see our exe file, but we don't want to run it directly from here. We want to run it in a no graphics mode, so we're going to create a new bat file. So again, we're going to create new text document and we'll just call this start server dot bat. Again, we'll see that error message. We just say yes. Right click on it and then edit. We're going to edit in notepad. We're going to add a string here that'll allow us to start dedicated server in a batch mode. So let's make this big. We're going to start our rocket station underscore dedicated server dot exe dash batch mode dash no graphics dash auto start dash game port equals 27500 dash update game port equals 27015 dash auto save interval equals 300 equals world type sorry dash world type equals mars that's going to be our world type. And then our map name, we're just going to save it as Mars. You can change this value if you wish. And we'll go ahead and save this and then close. So now we have our start server bat. We're just going to double click on it to start our server. We're going to allow access through the Windows firewall. And then our server should be running. We can see that in our task manager. We'll see it in our task manager under rocket station dedicated server exe. Anytime you want to shut down your server, just end this task. We can go ahead and close this window. 
Now we'll see that our server has started and it has created our folder for Mars. So everything looks good here. So let's go ahead and end that dedicated server. And now we can see that we have a default INI that was created, which we can then edit this. This will give us some options to change our server name. And we can also change the game port updates, etc. If we want to add an admin password, we can here. And we can change the max number of players. We're not using Archon, but we'll go ahead and set a password for it anyways. We'll go ahead and save this file. And then we can start our server again. Now we need to open up some ports on our home router so that the internet traffic can reach our dedicated server. To do that we need to access our router. So we're just going to open up a CMD window so we can see what our default network is. If we type IP config here, IP config helps if I spell it right. We can then see our default gateway is 192.168.100.1. So what we can do is we can open that in our browser and then log into our, our home router. Now these settings may be different for your home router depending on the make and model, but for me I need to go to advanced. forwarding rules and an IP4 mapping. This is where we can set our port forwarding and for station nears we need to open up a couple of ports. We're going to go ahead and say that on our internal host which is 192.168.100.3 and we can find that information again from our IP config. We can see our IP4 address. We're going to open up TCP UDP 27500 and TCP UDP 27015. Once you have these settings applied and saved, this will allow internet traffic to reach your dedicated server. So now that we have our server running, we can actually launch Station Nears and then test our server. Okay, once our game starts up, we'll go ahead and go into join servers. And now we can see two of my new servers, one under the LAN and one under the internet. If you don't see the internet right away, that's fine. You may just need to adjust your firewall settings or your home network port forwarding. And that's it for how to create a Stationeer's dedicated server. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we will all work together and we'll help each other out. Please like, subscribe, and share this video.